With that, we're shifting focus on Plain Speak to another big story that we're tracking here, and that is the Delhi Liquor Gate saga. It's only escalating with each passing day because today there was another twist that came to the fore. Accused number 11 in the case, Dinesh Arora, is all set to turn a prover. This afternoon, he told the court that he accepts the charges against him and he is willingly turning an approver in the case. The court recorded that he was not making this request under duress. Now, Dinesh Arora is accused by the CBI of allegedly receiving kickbacks from liquor manufacturers who were granted licenses under the excise policy. The same policy that now stands withdrawn by the Delhi government. Now, remember, Deputy Chief Minister of the National Capital, Manish Sisodia, was at the helm of affairs of this particular policy, which is why... He is under the scanner. He has been raided in the past. His bank accounts have been searched. He has also been questioned by the agency over this alleged scam. Now with this new twist in the case, the Aam Aadmi Party, Manish Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal face a big litmus test. A litmus test of propriety. One of being a corruption-free party and a corruption-free government because that's really the plank that the Aam Aadmi Party rose to power on. They planned that they would be a party with a difference. They would be a government that would be clean, that would be rid of corruption, unlike all the other traditional parties in the country. That's the political pitch they made. Unfortunately, many believe they're not walking the talk today. As far as this big controversy is concerned and this big development in the liquor gate scam is concerned, hear why it's so significant. I'll break it down for you. The first big issue at hand is, today, while Dinesh Arora told court that he was willingly wanting to turn approver, he accepted the charges against him, which means prima facie that points to wrongdoing in the excise policy if he is accepting the allegations that have been made by the agency against him. Point number two of why this is significant. Dinesh Arora is someone who was in the inner circle as far as his policy is concerned. So he can expose bureaucrats who were allegedly bribed in the Delhi government by multiple manufacturers who wanted licenses. Uh, Dinesh Arora can also spill beans on the alleged kickbacks from these liquor licenses. To what extent were they made? Who, did re who received them? Where exactly did the buck stop? All of those details perhaps could be spilled once Dinesh Arora turns a prover in this case. Who was the kingpin behind this alleged Delhi liquor scam? That also can be relieved. Uh, that also can be revealed as Dinesh Arora will now become a state witness when he turns a prover. The identity of netas, the identity of businessmen who allegedly benefited from this policy, that too perhaps will be revealed in a matter of time. And let's not forget why all these speculations, because Dinesh Arora is believed to be a close aide of the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia. Remember, Sisodia is accused number one as far as the FIR in this excise policy alleged scam is concerned. Those are the significant developments that have come to the fore as far as the Liquor Gate saga goes, which is why Tonight on Plain Speak, we're asking if Dinesh Arora decides to become the approver, if he actually does become the approver or a witness in this case, will that spell more trouble for Manisu Sodia? बात दावे के साथ कह सकता हूं कि मनीष सिसोदिया जैसा अरविंद केजरीवाल कहते हैं कि बहुत जल्दी जेल में जाएगा इलेक्शन से पहले जाए बाद में जाए ये नहीं कह सकता मगर वो जेल में जरूर जाएगा और हम अभी से उसके लिए ये मांग करते हैं कि उसको दिल्ली तिहाड़ जेल में ना भेजा जाए उसको पहले से किसी दूसरी जेल में भेजा जाए Vineet Goenka, spokesperson of the BJP, joins me on this broadcast. Political analyst Ravi Srivastava is also with me. But before we get into the politics of it, I want to get an advocate, Ashwini Dubey. As far as turning an approver or turning a witness is concerned of any accused, this is not the first case that we would see it. It has happened multiple times. It has helped uh, multiple cases, agencies to crack multiple cases and take them to the logical conclusion. But as far as this particular case is concerned, and correct me if I'm wrong, the fact that Dinesh Arora wants to be a witness, wants to be an approver, does mean that he is accepting the allegations that the agency is making against him. Doesn't that open a Pandora's box and doesn't that 
eventually the trail would lead to the man who was at the helm of affairs uh, in this particular case, which is Manish Sodia. Is this is this question to me? I have to answer this question. Yes, Mr. Dubey. Yes. So the, the first we have to see the definition of accomplice. The evidence at a case when there is no direct evidence incorporating somebody's involvement, despite the fact that there are circumstantial evidences, but there is no direct evidence to corroborate and to bring into domain the public the, the, the main offender, then the approver comes in the play. The approver is in fact one of the accused. So the evidence which is used to corroborate such approver's testimony must be an independent evidence and should be able to connect the accused with the crime. Look, the allegations here are very serious in nature. The, the, the Lieutenant Governor has recommended for the CBI investigation into the conscientious daily excise policy of the Arvind Kejriwal government after a report by the Chief Secretary which established prima facie violation of GNCT Act. And the excise policy in question opposed by the civil society, religious groups, educational institutions, parents, bodies and opposition like was brought into the middle of the deadly delta wave of the COVID pandemic. Now the two questions, the major question which is to be established here to the prosecution, it is not too easy to prove this case, irrespective of the fact that one of the accused has turned a prover. The initial and essential question to consider is whether even as an accomplice, the approver is a reliable witness, so he himself is an accused. So whether he is a reliable witness, that court will look into. And if the answer to this question is against the approver, then there is an end of the matter. And no question as to whether his evidence is corroborated or not falls to be considered. Means that appreciation of an approver's evidence has to satisfy a double test. His evidence must show that he is a reliable witness and that is the test which is common to all witnesses. So admittedly, he is an accused. But the allegations or the report which has been submitted by Chief Secretary to the Lieutenant Governor Prime Officer established that there is a serious violation of Rule 57 of the Act, 1993 Act, which mandates the Chief Secretary to flag any deviation from the let down procedures to the Lieutenant Governor. And the second, if the above test is satisfied, the second test which still remains to be applied is that approver's evidence must receive the sufficient corroboration. So other evidences are needed. Not only the Mr. Arora's evidence is needed or his statement before the court is needed. As of now, it is all right. But when the charge sheet is taken, the matter is uh, taken into the charge sheet and matter is taken to the conviction, in that cases, there are some concrete evidences needed to implicate the king pink in this matter. So that is why the, the accomplice uh, this uh, statement should be in consideration with Section 114 of the Evidence Act, which empowers the court to presume the existence of certain facts and illustration in express terms say that an accomplice is unworthy of credit unless he is corroborated in material particulars. Yes. Right. So him turning an approver doesn't really make the job uh, completely easy for the agency. Perhaps this is... Uh, one fourth of the job done, but it really is for the agency to ensure there is enough evidence to substantiate the claims that this particular man is going to make when he does turn approval, and that really is going to be the challenge. But at some point, prima facie, there was wrongdoing, at least on some aspects of it. The fact that the LG was not uh, taken in the loop. And Ravi Srivastava, is that something the Amadmi Party or the Delhi government can completely shy away from? Uh, Punam, uh, absolutely not. I, I hope you must have heard the press conference uh, by... Uh, Saurabh Bharadwaj just an hour before or so. He has clarified it that number of such allegations will be made. And another 25 days, you will see the full soap opera of this happening. Every day, one person will be propped up, somebody will be bribed, some accused will be brought in, some Sukesh Chandrasekhar will be brought in. I hope you recall very well, being a, being a journalist, that before Punjab election, Arvind Kejriwal was almost declared a terrorist. There was a letter came from the Sikh uh, for justice, and that letter said that he is a, he is a person who is accused, he, is a, he stayed with this fellow and that fellow. And that letter was sent by Shri Chandni to Shri Amisha. Shri Amisha sent it for an inquiry. That inquiry, nobody saw till date that what actually happened in that inquiry. So such are the baseless, fabricated, concocted things happening. Let them do it. 14th November, let the person make a statement. Like the uh, learned uh, advocate had said just now, this is, has got no meaning because the whole thing has to be corroborated before the court of law. 
there should be incontrovertible concrete evidence that the scrutiny of the honorable court till then this is all part bogus and has got no meaning mr goenka it's completely bogus it's all before elections suddenly all those who are being accused of taking a bribe from one side or perhaps being bribed from the other side perhaps they being bribed to speak up against the abadmi party and manish sisodia the number 2 in the party because the bjp is completely rattled ram ram to you and all the viewers who are watching this uh, show uh, one not only in india and across the world chief ministers of the state or the province are elected to solve problem unfortunately in this delhi uh, he is the problem himself deputy chief minister is accused and not only accused his very close friend his very close aide vinish arora has turned approver now if he i think if he has left with some morality some he should resign let there be a free and fair investigation which is going on and why do i believe that there is a uh, wrong doing done by deputy chief minister number 1 i have never seen him doing a powerpoint presentation on anything anything for last 7 years he's been there and i personally uh, i've been monitoring him for last 9 9 10 years since the anna agitation but he did a powerpoint presentation on equitable distribution of liquor how liquor should be drank how it will be equitable how people will access to liquor the aam aadmi party never paid attention to the problem of pollution or never paid problem to the uh, problems of delhi they reduced the dtc to a mere joke but they concentrated their attention how to make millions and millions in this particular league they have given discounts per box beyond what you and i can recognize to the retailers they have made cartels which are not permitted under the uh, this excise act where a manufacturer come makes a cartel with the distributor which is not been seen across the country i have nowhere in india seen that the person who is accused can investigate himself they have given rights to the wholesaler to investigate if there is an investigation there is a reason to believe that there was a counterfeit in the liquor this they have increased the commission from 2% to 12% nowhere in india you see this high percentage of commissions been given not only this they increase the number of shops to which you can't believe three per ward they have increased the number of hours of selling now these are the allegations uh, mr goenka the bjp let, has been making increase the number of uh, dry days to increase the number of sales now this all was done so that they can satisfy their partners who are into this business and i think dinesh arora is going to make all that statement which will nail this to king pins manish shishode ji already is accused he has been named there along with him there are a couple of other people who have been named in this particular part i think kare uh, kejriwal ji should suspend him or he should resign by himself till the investigation is going on this is a serious crime delhi ki janta ko koi rahat to nahi diya lekin unko daru pilane ke liye to unhone bahut sara kaam kiya they have never thought on education they have never thought on dtc buses but they did this corruption which is shameful and i condemn this act Now, Mr. Goenka, the BJP has been making these allegations time and again. Ravi Shivastu, I do see you putting your hand up. I'll come back to you, but I just want to ask a follow-up question to Mr. Goenka. Like uh, Ashwini Dubey also was pointing out, this is not uh, a big win, so to say, that Dinesh Arora, an accused, has become an approver. The agency will still have to corroborate what he's saying with evidence, not circumstantial one at that, substantial one at that. My learned friend, because he too, because he too is an accused. See, How reliable is he going to be as a witness? Good. You and my learned friend both are right that this is not an easy win. There is no win. Even if tomorrow Manish Shishocha is been you know framed, he has been arrested, and there is a uh, if he gets some punishment, even then there is no win. We as citizens have lost. We have lost seven years. We have lost the opportunity to convert this particular state into a good state. So we we will always lose uh, under Aam Aadmi Party. There is no second question in this. But this particular gentleman converting, turning, turning himself into an approver will make the task of CBI and the investigating agencies little easier because he is now going to cooperate and tell under oath that what he did, where it did him, and where did this money come from? Did Vijay Nair, who was arrested by CBI, or Samir Mahendra, who was arrested, did they transfer one crore rupees to this so-called Radha Industries? What is Radha Industries? Who are they? Who is the gentleman in Kolkata who benefited? What was the link with Satyendra Jain in this particular case? Did Abhishek Boyan Palli have some relation with this? Now these are the questions which comes to me as a common man, and I'm trying to put this to everybody in Aam Aadmi Party through your channel. Right. Who is Mahendra? 
If I'm not questioning you, sir. I'm not questioning you. You are a victim. I don't I'm care. Pitting. I tell you frankly. I don't care. Yes, you I don't care. care. I'm not the party. I don't care. I'm not the party. I don't care for that me. Of your, that of your citizens. That of your citizens. Gentlemen, let's come back to the issue at hand. Gentlemen, I request you to please come back to the issue at hand. And Vineet Goenka, you made your point. They should have said that. Yeah, now allow me. Allow me to buy. You don't care. We know that. You don't care. Arvind, we know that. You don't allow me to loudly say that. We know that you don't care. You have put all of us in problem. Vineet Goenka, I gave you your time. Vineet Goenka, you made your point. You made the allegations. And Ravi Srivastav, yes, the Aam Aadmi Party will have some answering to do. But should the agencies halt their investigation because an election is coming up? Because every time that happens, every time an investigation coincides with an election, it's always made political. That the opponents are rattled. It's because of elections, and that is why the investigation is on. No, uh, actually, uh, Ravi view, right? He actually, not give, give Oda, view. come on, yaar. Which is fine. We've called Ravi Srivastava on the panel to have his view. So let him no, have his view. Let him have his view. Ravi Srivastava is Go ahead, Mr. Srivastava. Not yes. yours. No, Pune, first of all, those talking about the education policy should not speak a word about it if the Prime Minister has to make it in a tent which is demolished the next day. And they should not talk about the hospital where 150 bodies were lying and two people alive were about to be cremated so i don't i don't need a lecture on the health and the education from anybody now second thing i want to say that is manish shishodia accused or not whether mr. he will go in jail or not mr goenka you asked the question let ravi sir ask the answer why is your question even in prox you are a prox i have no problem but at least answer why are you impatient manish shishodia why are you impatient that court court will decide not you neither me why you are bothered? Why are you so insecure? Why you are so upset now? You are very upset. Why are so you so insecure? You have spoken your words. Are you now involved? Uh, why are you so insecure? Come on, yeah. Come on, sir. Please. I am not a. I am not a party of chores like you. Please. Gentlemen, I, I request you all to be. I request you all to be no, civil please, gentlemen. Yeah, this, this, Vineet Goenka and Ravi Shivasa, please, I request you to be civil. Let's come back to the issue at hand. I am running out of time. Last few minutes, Ravi Shivasa, I'd like to talk to you. I would like to ask one simple thing. You are a professional actor. Do you have a or not? Tell me this one particular question. Why is he afraid? The party of goons and you are one of them. He said it. Ravi Shivasa, Ravi Shivasa. You are reflecting your upbringing, sir. I have no problem, sir. Ravi Shivasa and Mr. Goenka, I request you to please keep this civil, not take any personal pot shots at anyone. Let's come back to the issue at hand. Vineet Goenka, you made your point. Ravi Shivasa, one is not official. Two, he he is using. It doesn't matter, sir. It doesn't matter. But you have to. He is here on the panel with you. You made your point, and I want Ravi Shivasa to come back and respond. Yes, Shivasa. Yes, Mr. Shivasa, go ahead. See, Puna, my issue is simple. That four months the inquiry is going on, not even a rupee has been found. We are talking about one crore rupee. Some Amit Arora transferred to Dinesh Arora. Is the money given in the darkness? It's in an open uh, bank account. The bank account number is there. Go trace it. As I said, they have been talking about 4,000 crore scam, 5,000 crore scam, 10,000 crore scam. Not a single penny has been found. All these are baseless allegations and they will not stand the scrutiny of the law. That is most important. And that is right. nothing. All of it is in the, the realm of investigation. Of All of it is in the, the realm of allegations now and it is up to the agency to prove them. The fact that an accused has turned a prover or a witness in this case does not, is no milestone for the agency to celebrate. They really have to keep their job going because it is going to come down, it is going to boil down to whether or not the agency can substantiate these allegations that they are making in the FIR in the court of law and that's really where the proof of the pudding lies. I thank you all gentlemen for joining us here on this broadcast. Perspective. With that, we're slipping into a quick break here on this edition. But lots lined up for you on CNN News 18. Don't go anywhere.